going on boys we are back here with more cards from uh, battles of legend uh, relentless revenge and starting off with uh, our very next spell card is uh, emergency cyber um, cyber dragon support which um including the support that we're also going to be getting from uh, cybernetic horizon cyber dragons do seem to be um getting to a real interesting spot in the game to they'll definitely be a lot more playable but we don't know if they're going to be anything you know top tier or meta uh, that we don't know yet, but um, time will tell. But for now, you know, we're just getting two cards in this set for Cyber Dragons, at least in in the newer side of things. So, uh, Emergency Cyber, add one Cyber Dragon monster or one light machine monster that cannot be normal summoned to set from your deck to your hand if the activation of this card in your possession is negated by an opponent's card and this card is sent to Graveyard. As a result, you can discard one card and add this card to your hand. So, pretty much, um, this card is one of those cards that just says, hey, if you negate me, I just activate myself again but um if uh if it, if it does get negated it should be able to go around it's a once per turn clause so if you if it gets negated and you bring it back to your hand you should be able to activate it again and search a cyber dragon or light machine that can't be normal under set and so um there really aren't a lot of light machine type monsters that can't be normal under set there's just like cyber barrier and laser dragon which um are just okay cards there's uh, the anti-kaiju mech, whatever, so call it. I mean, you should be playing Jizakiru, the, the 3300 light machine, uh, kaiju, and cyber dragons anyway. So um, it might not be the worst choice, I guess. Um, and uh, obviously cyber dragon monsters, there's a whole load of them, and they're definitely useful. And um, unlike, you know, like cyber, cyber repair plant or whatever it's called, this one just pretty much adds it for free. But... Um, Cyber Repair Plant adds like any light machine type monster from your deck to your hand. Um, so it might be a, a better choice uh, over Emergency Cyber. But um, yeah, I, I guess it's really going to be player preference, you know. Um, we'll, we'll definitely see how, how the card um, fares moving forward. But uh, next we have Born from Draconis. And it's, uh, although it doesn't say Cyber Dragon in the effect, you can tell that it's pretty much just Cyber Dragon support. So, banish all light machine monsters from your graveyard and face up from your field, and then special summon on level 6 or higher light machine type monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you do, its attack and defense become the number of monsters banished to activate this card times type, uh, 500, is also unaffected by other card effects except for its own effects. Also, you can ask for some other monster to turn you activate this card. So, um, pretty much, like... Like, let, let's just break down this card a little. Okay, so you banish all light machine type monsters from your graveyard and face up on your field. So pretty much, unless you are really in a negative situation where you are you really have nothing to lose by doing this, I would say don't even bother doing this at all. I mean, I don't, I don't know if Cyber Dragons have some good card or good crazy return from different dimension type card that I don't know about, but, um... For the most part, I just think like banishing everything, not having an option at all. I think that's a little too risky and far fetched. Um, this is this is like a last resort um, type of card, and so um, you know it's nice. It gets to ignore some of the conditions. I guess uh, I don't know. Like again, the cyber laser and barrier dragon. I guess laser dragon would be the one you would want to summon because it can pop monsters um, who have higher attack than it does. So. But um, I would say if you are going to use this, um, wait until you can um, you have enough monsters so that this card is like 3,000, 4,000. So have like five or six monsters um, in your field, field and grave. Because if you don't, then this card is going to be really, really easy to destroy by battle. It's, it's nice it gets unaffected by other card effects, but the fact it's very vulnerable to being attacked, I think, is... Um, definitely something you're going to have to look out for. But um, other than that, I, I don't know if people are going to use it because A, it's a trap card. If this was like a quick play spell, it might be different because then, you know, you could, you know, do, do it during, you know, uh, first turn and, you know, probably like o OTK or something. But because it's a trap card, it's it's a little, it, it's it's asking for a little too much, you know. And also you can't special summon other monsters to turn you activate this card. It doesn't say for the rest of the turn. So it pretty much just has to be that, uh, you know, this is something that you would use during your opponent's turn. Maybe if they, like, dark hold you or something, and you don't have any light machine type monsters left. But, um, 
The thing is, is that it only banishes light machine type monsters. So if you, you know, went into uh, other uh, tribute type monsters, maybe uh, dark type monsters. I know some of the cyber fusions are like dark types. So um, you, you, you wouldn't be at, at the worst handicap, but if you only have light machine monsters, then that's when it's like, yeah, should I really activate this? And then honestly, it's up to you. But um, I don't know what, you know, cyber what level six or higher machine type monsters cyber dragons would actually play except for the kaiju except for the kaiju i don't know which ones they would actually play you know in a legit cyber dragon build and then you know imagine playing this card just to summon that card you know like it doesn't really seem all all too consistent so is the card worth it probably not now slash draw slash draw i know this card definitely uh brought a lot of ruckus up uh, when it was first revealed so you discard one card send cards from the top of your deck to your graveyard equal to the number of cards your opponent controls then draw one card and if you do show it and send it to a graveyard if it is slash draw and if you do destroy as many cards on the field as possible then inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent for each card destroyed and sent to your graveyard by this effect otherwise shuffle cards from your graveyard into the deck equal to the number of cards sent from your deck to the graveyard by this effect. You can only activate one slash draw per turn. So you discard a card, you mill from the top of your deck. You don't activate, you mill. And then um, equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. So if your opponent controls no cards, you just drop one, draw one. And so if you if you draw a slash draw, what do you do? You just blow up your side of the board because you know your opponent doesn't have any cards on the bo on, on board. And so. Um, I heard people talking about this card in Sylvan's and they're like, oh, Sylvan's with this card is so good. And I'm just like, bro, Sylvan's can't can't manipulate past two or three cards from the top of their deck at the very most. I, I feel like c consistently they can't manipulate past two or three cards from the top of their deck, maybe four, but that's really it. So your opponent would have to have exactly four cards on board when you activate Slash Draw. After you well, after slash slash draw resolves, and then um, as well. So if they have anything to chain to it, the whole you know plan can get ruined because it's like, let's say they have like a a quick play spell or trap card that they just activate. Like let's say they have a call for the grave set, and then you activate slash draw, and then you think, oh well, my opponent has exactly four cards on board. Well, guess what's happening? Well, if I chain uh, this uh, called by the grave, um. Because the sending cards from the top of your grave from you from your deck to the graveyard actually is not a cost. It's during the resolution. You can tell by the little semicolon after discard one card. Um, your whole plan's gonna get ruined. And then uh, you're only going to to you're only gonna draw into the card before slash draw, and then um, you're not gonna get slash draws um, big big effect where you get to pop everything your opponent controls. It, there's there's way too much um there's way too much uh flack around this card just like it's 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 just it's just not gonna work consistently it's it's like yes you can make a deck that can work around it i guess but it's just not gonna work consistently i i, I just don't see it happening um you know obviously there's gonna be youtube replays that mega capital g is gonna upload oh uh, uh, look at look at this guy who just used a uh, slash draw um and, you know, obviously there, there's always going to be videos like that with, with cards like these, with Jackpot 7 and Flying Elephant and stuff like that. But it's, again, you know, like we, we all know it's just, you know, a whole, a, a whole load of barnacles, you know.